for the collective, for anybody who is guided to see this reading today or whenever they're guided. All right. What do we need to know about this reading, please? What's important? Two of Wands. Nice. For today, what's most important? Ooh, what's that? Eight of Swords. Okay, I see. So we're trying to get out of something, get away from something, get um, unstuck from something. I feel like this is um, with the Eight of Swords being here. Like here's the Two of Wands. Like where am I going to go? What am I going to do? What direction should I take? This is someone who's contemplating what to do next. Um, because they've had a long time to think about it while they felt all trapped up in their head. And see how she's got that dagger in her hand? They call it athems in these decks. Um, she's got an athem in her hand and she's about to cut herself free from something so that she can move forward. And it's been a long time coming with the Seven of Chalices. In this deck, the Seven of Chalices is more like the Seven of Pentacles. <coughs> but of course, excuse me, um, of course, the general meaning of the Seven of Chalices has to do with getting some kind of clarity or making a choice, right? So she's choosing what direction. Now, this is she or he. Just because that's a she, that's a he. So it doesn't really matter. Mm. Not that the pictures on these cards ever really matter. Um, unless we're talking about specific genders with the emperor or empress. For me, the, the empress is always a woman and the emperor is always a man. But um, we have someone here who's definitely trying to choose what direction to take. And they're really contemplating on it. And it's been a long time coming. Like, it's time to choose. And why? Because we've been in this funky, funky energy. Here it is in the upright of this four of chalices in this deck reminds me of the five of pentacles. Being left out in the cold, feeling on your own, feeling very distraught, very um, much in a deep, dark kind of a depression. Coming out of that. And why? Because there's a brand new beginning ahead of us with the Ace of Wands, and it might come in very suddenly with the tower here. Boom! All of a sudden, you're, it's a brand new life. So something here is happening. Now, I have to say, this could be happening because you decide to get yourself up and out of the funk and to move forward. Regardless of how mentally stuck, you. this is a lot of mental activity. This is also emotional pain as well. But this is someone who's like, I'm not going to do it anymore. I am, boom, going after my new beginning. Okay, so that's what this is. A sudden, now could something physically happen suddenly that gets you unstuck from something? Absolutely. But if that were to come, it would come with a bunch of clarity and it would have been a long time coming and it would help you now be able to move forward down a new path. So let's clarify it. I know these are very, very short and simple, but... Like I said, they have to be this week. So we used um, Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Now we're going to use uh, Green Witch Tarot. All right. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading here for today or whenever anyone is guided to see it here on YouTube? What are the messages? Please, please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. So something abrupt is going to release you from something that you have been very depressed and upset about and it could just be mental or it could be something physical all right what do we need to know here about the two of wands what's important for the collective for today's energy what do we need to know about the two of wands the high priestess all right beautiful so the high priestess is working with the universe adding a little of this and a little of that a mixture of the right ingredients in this deck she really is creating with spirit god universe and i feel like um yeah and i also feel like you might not know about this new beginning that's coming like i said it's coming in abruptly ace of wands and tower it's like whole new life suddenly happens and when this new whatever this is hits it takes you from this really distraught energy that you've been in where you've been so stuck and releases it so something there might be something coming in that's going to change your path change your position in something all right let's get the um but you don't you don't know about it like it's going to come in suddenly tell me about the eight of swords what's the eight of swords here eight of swords what do we need to know 
okay the ace of wands reversed fell out in the weirdest way i feel like this ace of wands is coming as soon as you get yourself mentally free from this funk you've been in that ace is turning in the upright and it's going to be beautiful and look at what's at the bottom the harvest card the harvest card always feels to me like someone who's able to look at their accomplishments and go wow look what i've created it's like everything this is the judgment card but i never get the full judgment card in this uh, deck i always feel like this is more like cornucopia and somebody looking at their life and going wow i did this um just somebody who feels very fulfilled very uh, accomplished but in general this could be that moment that aha moment or that thing that comes in and boom gives you a whole new life this cup will turn it's coming it's coming that ace of cups is coming in this is going to be something you're going to love could it be love maybe maybe but it's going to be nonetheless something you really do love all right let's look at the seven of chalices what do we need to know about the seven of chalices here please in this deck like i said the seven of chalices reminds me of the seven of pentacles and the seven of chalices both combined okay what do we got here okay we got the five of pentacles it came out on its side for me on the side means challenge it's been a challenge to get you out of this funk it almost was reversed when i looked at it so that's this funk that you're coming out of no doubt about it this was practically reversed i'm going to leave it right like the way it came out it feels to me like um this long time coming whatever this is is taking you you're just getting a whole new beginning here this has not been easy for you tell me about this whoa i don't even know where this came from six of wands came out in reverse i'm going to put it back i don't know where it came out or when okay give me one more peek at the seven of chalices what else do we need to know about the seven of chalices here yep the world just came out again on its side as a challenge so getting out of this funk and the world is see the snake on this world card it always reminds me like your new cycle was being held up by someone sneaky so someone might have purposely put you in this funk but that's and look if we go back there's a group of people back here five of wands right before your tower and your new beginning and you coming out of being left out in the cold were you dealing with shady people page of pentacles right behind that five of chalices right behind that were these people who did something to you financially was this business was this family what was this could it have been family ten of pentacles is back here could it have been business or finances ten of pentacles covers all that i feel like you were done dirty or something was being your whole cycle was held up by something or someone sneaky and shady and they kept you in the dark they kept you trapped and blindfolded they kept you in a stuck position where you couldn't mentally be freed from something because they were keeping information or something from you and finances as well um guys you'll have to fill me in on this i'm going to grab you a couple after tarot and that's that all right what do we need to know about this reading and what comes next for anyone who's going to resonate with this what comes next here for anyone who's going to resonate with this reading victory there it is that six of wands that was so hard to get to it's here your victory is now here give me one more what comes next one more card please and that's victory after war strife that's like uh after the battle after the battle um, no matter what you were one person and they were coming at you but you still win there it is and uh you will take what's yours and you will leave the rest behind and that just feels to me like you're getting what's owed you that was at the bottom your victory comes look it doesn't matter who you were up against that that whole that's coming to an end you're coming out of the fives which is excellent news coming out of these fives twice this means there's change coming for sure um, and like I said, for me, this is just like the five of pentacles in this deck. You're coming out of all these fives and you're coming out on top victory exposure and, uh, something's happening with whatever or whoever this was. It feels like, like I said, when I look back, this looks like a group that was not paying up. This looks like a group that was not fulfilling, um, their obligation or that was keeping you 
blindfolded, stuck, bound, and trying to hide the money from you. So guys, please let me know if this is yours. You're going to overcome this. Um, this is someone who definitely wins the war. This is not just someone who wins a battle. This person wins the war. Okay, and that's the way I always see that. Your ace is coming. Um, something's getting blown up. It's happening like here and now. It could have been a, a result of the eclipse we just had. Um, they could have been connected to other eclipses. And now's your moment to shine. All right, guys, let me know. I'll be excited to hear from you guys. Please comment down below and let me know if you feel like this is your reading. If you're waiting for something like this, claim it, claim it, claim it. You deserve this victory. If you guys need a full personal reading, please reach out to me down below. My information is directly beneath this video in the description box. Reach out to me by email, okay? Talk to you guys soon. Bye.